right welcome back to our channel and cooking with Lynn on a Sunday and I have mentioned this in a previous vlog and I'm actually going to be using it today to make uh, some soda bread and because this comes from Czechoslovakia it was originated in Czechoslovakia I'm going to make a traditional goulash right so the Tromoska it the Tria it's a multi cooker it comes with three lids so you can grill bake roast everything absolutely everything it is really really popular with motorhomers and caravans so yeah let's have a look in the box and see what's in right one of the first things you've got a stand which is brilliant if you want to use it on the worktop without uh, putting anything underneath it then you have a fantastic deep bowl with the bowl you can use it on gas electric ceramic and even induction so you can place that on there Right, we'll go through the lids. Right, the first lid is a glass lid. It's just like a saucepan lid. So I presume you could just do your boils, anything in there. It's got a nice hole there to let the steam through and that fits perfectly on there. The second lid is the soft pressure lid. So let's have a look at that. Right, as I said, the second lid, it's the soft pressure lid which actually simulates a pressure cooker so you can do away with a pressure cooker and you've got these so what you do on this these handles you cut those in so you put them against that unlock it and that lid is on tight so yeah there's your pressure valve on there so to release it you just press those in and take the lid off so that is amazing for a pressure cooker and finally, the third lid is where the magic happens. So this is a removable baking lid that fits on to the trier. You could plug it in via a kettle lead and that is effectively an oven. But the brilliant thing with this is you can either use it just with that and that heats up so you can cook from the top so I'm going to be doing uh, probably the goulash or maybe the bread in that one but if you want to cook top and bottom you can put it onto the oven or your induction hob ceramic whatever cook from the bottom and cook from the top as well so it's pretty impressive one more thing I must say if you if you've got one of these and I know lots of you have they are so as I said before they're so so popular with motorhomes and caravans when you remove the lid it's extremely hot so always take it off away from you and that bit there is so you can put it down like so onto a surface you never obviously because that is going to get red hot never put it down like that always take it off away from you and place it down like that right let's start cooking right so what i've done i've washed it out obviously because it's new and what i'm going to do is just put some light oil on it on a piece of kitchen roll and just rub that round and then it's all ready to cook so for the soda bread i am using 225 grams of plain flour which i've already measured out 225 grams of wholemeal flour then we've got 200 grams of natural yogurt 100 ml of milk then we've got a teaspoon of salt teaspoon of sugar and a touch of bicarb so yeah i'm going to do this it's super easy and it's the best soda bread you'll ever 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 eat okay so the first thing you've got to do uh, is Put the flour in that's the whole meal 225 grams of whole meal flour into the a large mixing bowl so that's the whole meal flour added so then do sieve the plain flour into a bowl like so then so we're having a teaspoon which is that one yeah a teaspoon of bicarb a teaspoon of not so much sugar this time thank goodness a teaspoon of caster sugar and a teaspoon of salt a bit more better chuck some of that away but slightly too much in there we go 
Right, so just mix all those together. The two flours, the salt, the sugar and the bicarb. Mix those together. Just move that to one side. Then add the milk and the yoghurt together and mix that up. Right, so we've got the dry ingredients and the milk and the yoghurt. And I'm going to add all that to the dry ingredients. So excited to see how this turns out as I'm cooking it in the Rimoska, which I haven't used up to now. So yeah, we've got to combine all these and a minute it's got to get hands in and get mucky. Right, so I've done as much as I can with a knife. So now what you've got to do is combine all the ingredients by hand. So you've got to do that until you get a nice dough. So I've mixed it all together by hand. So now what you need to do is a lightly floured board, put it on, knead it a little bit. And the one great thing with soda bread, you've got no yeast, so you've got no proving. So you don't need to really knead it that much, just lightly knead it and then turn it into your, your shape like that. Now, what you need to do with this next is make a deep cross, like so, and that way. There you go ready to bake. Right, so I've put the uh, trivet or whatever you call it on there. I've put it uh, the Ramoska on. I'm using the electric lid. So you put that in place and then I'm going to plug it in and it is a 600 watt appliance. So you can use it in your vans, in your motorhomes, caravans, even tents if you're on hookup or if you have got a power bank. So I'm going to plug that in and it's turned on. So I'm going to cook that for 40 minutes. So, okay, but after 20 minutes, I'm going to take the lid off and put foil over it because this cooks from the top, not from the bottom. So we'll come back in 20 minutes, have a look at it. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. And as I said, you have to be very, very careful when you take this lid off. So I'm actually going to turn it off while I do this. So turn it off away from you and put it on its stand. And there is the bread. It's coming along lovely. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to just put some foil over the top of it so it stops it, uh, it burning. And what I've done, I've just folded a piece so it's a bit heavier on the edges. And then I'm going to place that on there and then put the lid back on and turn it on again for another 20 minutes. So it's been cooking for about 30 minutes. I did leave it in for a bit longer. So I've, I've took the, carefully put the lid there. And there it is, all cooked, wonderful. So now I'm gonna put that to one side and I'm gonna cook the goulash. So here are all the ingredients and it's a horrible, wet, miserable day. So it's the perfect day to do something like this. So I've got one kilo of braising steak, stewing steak, vegetable oil, closed cut mushrooms, two onions, two red peppers, two carrots, parsley, garlic and ginger, I'm using these again, uh, mild chilli powder, paprika, tomato puree, two oxo cubes, a can of chopped tomatoes and salt and pepper. And to garnish, you need natural yoghurt again. So everything that I used because I use the natural yoghurt for the sourdough, it's not going to go to waste because I'm going to use some in this as well. So I'm going to prepare all these ingredients now and then I'll uh, come back to you when it's all done. Right, I've prepared everything. So what I've done, I'm using the Ramoska Tria on the induction hob, so it's cooking off induction. So right, start with one tablespoon of vegetable oil and I'm going to cook, heat that now on high. Let that get nice and hot and then I'm going to brown off the meat. So I'll start with adding the stewing steak, braising steak. So there's uh, 
one kilo of the spoke for one kilo of that but i took all the fat out of mine so it's going to probably be about eight or nine hundred grams but there'll be plenty there so what you want to do with that is stir it until it's all brown and completely brown off the meat so that's been cooking for about four to five minutes so now i'm adding two large carrots which are sliced two red peppers that are sliced and uh, two cloves of garlic. I don't know why I showed you the ginger before. I got that out because it was next to the, the garlic so you don't need that. So you add all of that. That's the vegetables and all of the mushrooms. And throw all those in. Oops. Turn the heat down so and turning it down halfway, give it a good stir. Okay, so now I'm going to add a 400 can of tomatoes, two tablespoons of tomato puree, Uh, two tablespoons of paprika, a good pinch of mild chilli pepper and uh, flat leaf parsley which I've chopped up. So we're going to add all that. Um, then we've got the onions. And then I've got 400 ml of water with two options so cubes combined which hasn't combined very well so I'll just add a tad more water to get those out there we go salt and pepper take the lid off if I can salt pepper probably add some more of that later now what I've got to do is combine all of that beautiful yumminess so you've got all your veg all your meat whoops throwing it about and honestly the smell from here is amazing so you've got to keep stirring that till everything's all combined. You've got it in a nice onions trapped and that nearly got away. So there you go. So what I'm going to do now is leave it on that. So what I'm using is the soft lid. So what you do is pinch it in there and put it into make sure it's well aligned. There you go. Perfect. So I'm going to leave that on until I've got a steady stream of steam coming from that and I'm going to turn it right down and simmer it for an hour. Okay, right, what I've done, I've turned it up to high. So I've got to wait now for a steady stream of steam to come out. Then you turn it down and you simmer it for an hour. I'm not sure if I said that right before. Okay, so it's been cooking for the right time. I'm going to take it off now to take the lid off carefully and it's bubbling absolutely gorgeous so now what i've got to do is add two teaspoons of corn flour which i've mixed into a little water and give it a stir let this cook for two minutes two to three minutes and then i'll uh, i'll plate it up and uh, show the finished product but the smell i promise you is amazing Okay, so I've just got that simmering away. I'm going to cut this soda bread, which is absolutely beautiful. If you've never tried it, you really, really need to. I'm just going to do a, a couple of slices, well, door wedges each. Butter those and uh, serve it up. Okay, all done. So, dish it up into bowls. Now I am a bowl less because our lovely 
granddaughter's mum turned up to pick the granddaughter up and I've actually been doing looking after her and cooking today so shows a woman can multitask and she's actually pinched a bowl so just dish those up bread I better cut this one up there you go all plated up goulash with soda bread I've finished it off with a few sprinklings of parsley and then a dollop of natural yogurt so I'm going to give him a shout and let him come and do the taste test well I'm here people I'm back have you missed me no come on we don't want you in it too much <laughs> unbelievable now I've never had this before what is it it is goulash, traditional classic goulash, because yep. Ramoska comes from Czechoslovakia when it was first made with homemade soda bread. Beautiful. What's the cream for? It's natural yoghurt. That's apparently how it is served traditionally, with a bit of parsley on top. Man, that goes well. That's lovely. Yeah, and it's perfect for a winter's evening meal. I've never had this bread before in my life. Yeah, and he is a bit funny. Well, we all know he is. Goes well with, I think it goes well with a stew or a casserole. Absolutely delicious. Yeah, you wouldn't have it as a sandwich, though. But it goes well with a stew, doesn't it? Or a goulash. Oh, people, this is another one. You must try. Uh, so you're happy with your new frying pan? My new Ramoska. Ramoska tree and I know quite a few have actually got one so please let me know if you have and what you're doing it yeah. and how you get on with it because I know so many people in caravans and motorhomes use them. Mm -hmm. so, that yeah. is beautiful. Okay. Oh man so nice. Yeah. So thanks for watching people. So we'll say farewells because I'm starving. I'm going to get this down me. I've, just, I've had a hard day at work. Well I've been babysitting and making bread and a goulash. So yeah, thank you. Uses, haven't you. Yeah, thanks to Ramoska for sending me that. Yeah. All the links will be in the description below. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they're amazing. It's just so versatile. You don't need an oven. I mean, I can't mm. remember the last time. So good. Between that and an air fryer, I don't need an oven anymore. Or a grill. Does everything. You finished? Yeah, come on then. So I can have my own. Mouthful? Ah. Yeah, so stay safe for a caravan as motor homes tend to drift as far as on you. Excuse me. We so love you. We do. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next one. In a bit.